Hi, I'm Coach Amber, and welcome to the Meet RX Success Story Podcast. Today we have Coach Andrea with us, and she's going to share her success story. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Amber. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. You betcha. Nice to have you on. So, Andrea, tell us. What was your life like prior to eating a meat-based diet? Were you having any health issues? or and, and what kind of diet were you following at the time? Yeah. Well, um, actually, I, um, I got into all of the nutrition stuff uh, through um, a problem with my thyroid. I had, had Graves' disease. And that's um, 14 years ago already, or 13 years ago, I started to work on it. And I switched to keto. Um, 13 years ago with keto actually I got my Graves disease um, I got rid of it almost I mean I got into a, a under function of the thyroid so into a hypothyroidism um, and this I had during keto for the last I did keto for over 10 years then actually and um, it was just actually I, I, I was doing quite fine. I also um, I lost weight with keto and I had um, um, some um, eating disorders that got better through keto, but I mean it, I wasn't really doing perfect. Um, and so in January of nine, 2019, um, somehow I read about the carnivore diet and I was just curious and I thought I'm gonna just try and um, after three days, somehow I knew I found it. I was, I was feeling so good. It was just mentally feeling so good. And also physically um, um, that I knew this is it. And that's it. <laughs> and um, well, and so I dove into the science too. And I found out that there's a lot of science um, behind the carnivore diet that really makes sense. Um, and um, I also found out that there wasn't any information in German about the carnivore diet. That's why I started my website and the Instagram account on, in German. And it was so funny because in the beginning, um, I can remember the first things I posted from Sean Baker. And he was, I mean, it's one and a half years ago. Um, he wasn't that. Uh, he didn't have so many followers. So every time I posted something from him, he always uh, greeted back in German and said, oh, thank you in German. So it means danke or, or sehr gut in German. It was very sweet. Yeah, I was really um, very um, yeah, pleased. It was really sweet. Well, and my, my daughter, she started Carnivore as well. Um, so we the two of us, we've been doing it for one and a half years now. Um, and um, yeah, I'm um, actually, yeah, feeling very well since then. <laughs> I haven't changed and I've been continuing with all of the science and it's really interesting, yeah. Awesome, very good. Okay, so when you first started, how did you implement the diet? Like, what did you eat? What did you not eat? And did you include um, intermittent fasting by any chance? Or, uh, and did you notice any transitional issues? Like, it seems like a lot of people uh, have like issues like with diarrhea or the opposite. So did you have anything like that? Yeah, well, actually, uh, because I was keto already, I mean, I didn't have this keto flu or any of these um, problems when I switched. Um, and actually, I, I really did dairy and um, I did all of the kinds of um, sorts of meat like beef and pork mainly. I'm not such a fan of fish, but sometimes I, I do like mussels, um, eat those. Um, so actually, since then, I've actually... Most of the time, I eat everything in the in the in the animal kingdom. Mostly, of course, beef. Um, I found out that all of a sudden, I didn't. I wasn't hungry so much anymore. So it could happen that I am actually intermittent fasting. I'm doing that intermittent fasting, but not really longer fasts for these. Well. As a mother of three in the kitchen, you can't not eat for two days if you serve your children uh, the steaks and all of that all of the time. Um, so, um, yeah, well, actually, I, um, but I found out that if I was uh, on a trip, on a day trip or something like that, and I didn't want to eat at the restaurant because it was too complicated, that I really wasn't hungry until the evening or so. So it's, it's amazing how long you can really um, go without eating with carnivore and it's such a satiation that you've got in your that you just feel in your body I'm doing quite a lot a high fat approach um, I'm really doing almost two to one so 
Um, that means 80% of my calories come from fat and only 20% come from protein. And I feel best this way. Um, so being in a stronger ketosis, um, I know that other people maybe who are physically very, very active that they have a higher protein, um, um, amount, but I don't actually. And, um, yeah, well, I didn't have the transitional issues with the digestion. Um, of course, sometimes I had the feeling if I had too much protein, I had problems sometimes with um, a loose, two loose stools, or um, if I if I had um, too much fat, I had these problems. So somehow, I also found out that a smaller amount um, is good for me. I don't like to have really huge amounts. Um, I just feel too stuffed afterwards um so in the meanwhile i really try to set my amount of like 200 to 300 grams that's about um half a pound to maximum three quarters of a pound of meat but really fatty meat um and um it's good if i just wait after having eaten that you know if i wait a few minutes and then i found out okay i am satiated but if i if i really eat 500 grams so a pound or more then i really fi i find out that i'm just too full afterwards and i don't feel good for the rest of the day that's why i really keep the the portion smaller but i think it's also because i mean i'm in i'm 42 and maybe i already had a bit of an insulin resistance before and um, like my daughter, um, she is completely different. She, she's probably complete, very insulin sensitive. So, so she does one meal a day and she has bigger portions, more, more than a pound for her. That's, that's the better um, feeling. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. all right. And um, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so something else <laughs> you want? <laughs> Uh, no, I think you hit everything. That was good. Um, so after you started uh, eating more meat based and you've been on it for a while, did you notice any improvements in your health? Did you feel better? What, what, what was going on? Yeah, well, actually, I, I felt a lot of improvements. Um, first of all, that's why I also stayed uh, stuck to it. It was the mental improvement, the mental clarity that was so obvious. Um, then the satiation that was so deep somehow. It's a deep satiation. I can remember before I had these huge salads and and, and you just have the, the, you just feel full, but, but you're not really satiated. And maybe it's also the, the animal fats that are so much better for our brain and um, um, so that, that was the first thing that was really coming up. I, I, I knew somehow also with the eating disorders, um, I, I found out that I just didn't, it was so funny. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll now I'm starting with another story or in the beginning, I, um, after a week of carnivore, I broke my leg because I was jogging, I, I jog a lot, and that was jogging in the snow. And um, I, had a, I had a hard um, um, fracture there, or really a complete fracture. So I had to lie on, this, on the couch for six weeks. And um, I found out, sometimes I just went to the fridge, you know, the way you do it, just an automatic, um, it was just a, an automatic uh, movement, going to the fridge, opening the fridge, and it was so often that I opened the fridge and I thought, what are you doing? Um, you're, not, you're not hungry at all. You don't have any appetite. And I closed the fridge again. And I think these six weeks sitting on the, on the sofa or on the couch, um, usually I would, have, I would have gained tons of weight probably. But this way, it was actually um, not that I, that I gained weight at all because I just had the real feeling of, of when to be full and I didn't um, the snack in between. So actually, I also lost um, um, a few pounds since I did a carnivore, um, about eight pounds or so. Um, but I'm not. I'm 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 55 kilograms. I don't know how what that's in pounds. Maybe 110 pounds or so. Okay. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and the other thing is so interesting in the end everything made so much sense i mean i started jogging again and before i often had joint pain um like in my knee or also in my feet and it was also the tendons hurting and i also had a had a piriformis syndrome i don't know if you know that that's on the back of your thigh if, if the tendons really hurt and these symptoms they disappeared completely and i'm so sure that it was the oxalates probably that i had the oxalate dumping um 
or well, I got rid of all of my oxalates and um, this was through the ketogenic uh, diet, of course, um, that um, this improved so much. So that was a, was a great improvement, yeah. And um, what else was it? Um, yeah, and I got more muscular. As a, for example, doing push-ups. Before, I, th I, know, I can remember, I was able to do five push-ups maybe. In the meanwhile, it's like 15, 20, it's no problem. Um, so you really feel that the muscles, um, they, you just get more strength um, through, through that. And then now the ultimate thing, which was uh, also great, one year ago, that was after half a year on carnivore, I told you I, I got into hypothyroidism after the uh, uh, Graves disease. And um, a year ago, I just stopped taking my, um, my thyroid medication. Also, of course, it was checked with the doctor. My thyroid is working completely normal now, so I don't need the, the, the uh, thyroid uh, hormones anymore. So I'm completely off that. The hypothyroidism has, um, has gone away as well. So that's also a great thing, yeah. <laughs> right yeah and of course like having the skin disrupted skin or so these things sometimes from keto it came in probably from the nuts or from the from the uh, vegetable oils i've got um better skin now so i don't have any uh, pimples anymore that's it and my daughter she did these huge improvements too with allergies with her skin with her with her body it was we're, we're completely um on carnivore and we know we're never going to stop it's it's just um somehow it's a it's a it's it's, it's a it's a lifestyle and um i like the simplicity as well um it's just i go we've got a lot of farms here around i'm living in bavaria and a lot of grass fed farms so i just go to the farmer get my meat and um in the meanwhile my kids in the beginning i still you know i've got two boys and a husband who didn't want to follow carnivore so in the beginning, I, I did some salads uh, for them and some, some vegetables because they didn't want to follow a carnivore. But in, and then I started throwing the stuff away because they weren't really interested. And since if there's no mom telling the boys, eat your salad, eat your greens, then they stop eating them. And um, so they're actually fine with just having meat um, for lunch and, and in the evening. In the morning, they get their bacon with, with, with eggs, and sometimes they eat some bread or they, they get some, some sweets some from somewhere else. They're not, um, they haven't delved into the science and they don't have that many health issues. Um, but life has become a lot simpler, simpler for me. I don't get, I have to go shopping so often anymore. So I just, I always look down to the supermarket area and see all of the, the, the cars, uh, crowded on the parking lot. And I think you poor people having, having to go shopping every second, every other day. I'm glad that's, that's over. So actually I've got a lot more time too, and I'm a teacher. So this year I'm, I'm working a bit more. Um, I'm still doing part-time, but um, uh, I could um, start working more now, yeah, because I've just got a lot of spare time. It's great, yeah. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> nice, I like that, that's great. And, and I'm glad you kind of went into how your daughter improved too, because I was actually gonna ask about that. So I'm really glad that y'all seen a lot of improvement. Okay, so Andrea, since you are a coach, you're a brand new coach, actually, um, how do you plan on approaching coaching? W what is your philosophy going to be? Yeah, well, um, the thing is that I've already met so many German people um, doing the carnivore diet because I'm one of the first people, um, yeah, trying to spread the word in German, um, so that I've already got a lot of um, um, a lot of, I know a lot of stories. I know a lot of um, 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 different ways of approaching it. Um, many people who come from the carbohydrate diet, they can switch to fatty meats so quickly. So they maybe want to do a, a, a leaner um, approach or also you have to, have to um, um, distinguish between people who, have, who are like more... Um, uh, the, the people like, like, for example, I always saw the two symbols, Sean Baker and, um, and Zach Bitter on the HBO podcast. Like Zach Bitter was the, was the long distance runner. He was rather the cardio type. He maybe needed a higher fat approach and Sean needed a more a higher protein, protein approach because he, he really like did a lot of muscle work all of the time. So 
I, I would like to, um, if I have clients, uh, well, for the clients, I would like to change um, or um, work on their concept the way they need it and the way it's the best for them. Yeah. And um, well, I would also, in the beginning, they always send me their, 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 um, their list of what they have been doing up to now and what kind of health problems they ha have. So then I can um, get an individual um, coaching for them. And afterwards, I would just um, um, give them the tips, what they're supposed to do. Um, and they will receive these informations via mail and um, so that they have a personal coaching, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I like that. So you uh, plan on being very individualized where a one size fits all approach is not going to be what you're doing. You're right. going to take in consider consideration what that person is looking for, what their needs are, not just this is the only way to do it. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. That's, that's perfect. That's great. Okay, one last question for you. Okay, since you are a MeetRx member, can you tell us in your experience, what do you feel it has been the biggest benefit for you? Yeah, well, actually, I think MeetRx is, a, is actually the worldwide only um, spot where all of the carnivores with all of their knowledge um, come together. The great thing is that the one thing is you have the success stories. Um, that's of course very, um, very, and, and they're also listed um, which kind of um, which kind of diseases they have or which kind of health issues they have. So you can really look up um, okay which people have which health health issues. Um, that's a great um, um, a possibility. Then there's all of the science behind it that you really have the research uh, um, fraction where you can look down, okay, um, what kind of research is there on, on different kind of, kinds of diseases or health problems. Um, then there's, of course, the, the, the personal um, um, coaching on the, on, the, on the, how do you call these, whenever you talk uh, forums or, or the forums, yes. right exactly on the forums you can get in, in touch with people um, directly and then of course your meet our ex podcasts now are great as well the the health stories and also Sean interviewing the the, the experts um, so some and then there are recipes I mean it's a huge variety everything is on meet our ex it's great um, it's a it's a, a central, um, yeah, the, the, I would say it's the center of the carnivore diet at the moment. Yeah, it's really great. I, I totally agree with you. It is definitely the hub to go to for just about everything carnivore related. And there's also even a fasting section. So be sure y'all check that out. Right. And, and I, I've, got a, I've got a colleague um, from Germany now. I just... A few weeks ago, he um, he um, phoned me and said, "Why don't we start a German podcast now?" So we're we're working on that, and he is also uh, he wants to do the fasting coach on Meet Our X, and so this way the two of us will uh, where we can um, be a good couple. Um, yeah, he can do the fasting um, coaching very well, and that's also. Uh, for people who can do fasting or who dare to do it, I'm trying to, but <laughs> um, it's, it's also a great approach to get your insulin um, resistance down, um, I think, very quickly, right? Awesome. That is great. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. And y'all, she's going to be up on the coaching section of MeetRx soon. So check out Andrea if you're looking for a coach. She's a wonderful person and has a lot of knowledge and is ready and eager to help. So again, thank you, Andrea. Oh, thank you, Amber. I'm, I'm very uh, um, delighted by what you're doing on, on, uh, on all of your work here at MeetRx as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And you have a wonderful day and I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.